here are a few more things that sold. We sold this hat. I'm pretty sure uh, they made an offer for eight dollars. I accept that deal all day. Same with this hat. I'm pretty sure they also asked between eight and ten dollars. Hats don't weigh anything, so we paid probably a quarter to fifty cents for these. So let's go. Here's the next thing that sold. It's a, a three pack of trimmer packs for the Nintendo 64. Sold these for between $18 and $20. Uh, I only paid a few dollars for them at an arc. So let's go. There's another thing we sold. Um, I know this is just a Walmart brand or whatever. They, they sell it at Walmart. Someone paid, I think, $10 for it. We didn't pay that much at the bins. So let's go. All right, we got a couple more things that sold. This is a Disney Star Wars jacket. Original price was $79.99. I put it up for $44. It's sold in over a year. Next thing right here underneath is a brand new sealed uh, copy of Season 1 Heroes. Sold that for $15. All right, on to the next thing. Here are the next few things that we sold. This is an IB Cool, <laughs> IB cool Golf shirt. Uh, the color pattern on it, or the pattern on it, is like uh, UFOs and moons. I'm not 100% sure if it's the same brand as like Cool Pants and whatnot. It's because it's, it's made in Indonesia. Um, but yeah, sold it for $25. And then next right here I got is a Bioshock uh, Ultimate Rapture Edition. It's like Bioshock 1 and 2 and 3. <laughs> no, it's just 1 and 2, I think. Yeah. Uh, Xbox 360, and it comes with a bunch of stickers. A uh, guy made like a bunch of offers. It was ridiculously low. He finally made a decent offer for $7 for shipping. Let's go. Probably could have got more out of it if we waited, but I had this for over a year, so I'm not sad to see it go. Where's this last thing? At? Oh, <laughs> it's a kitty clock. Um, we paid absolutely no money for this because we forgot to pull it out of the cart when we were going to pay for stuff, so we got it for free, and we ended up flipping it for $20, I think. Let's go. Okay. Woke up to a couple sales this morning. Saw the Superman 1941 to 1942 uh, sealed for 16 plus shipping. And then also this sealed Cinderella 2 and 3, um, 12 plus shipping. Let's go. On to the next thing. Here are a few more things we sold. We got a Sony 5 CD changer remote. We sold this for 25 plus shipping. Underneath here, we got this Jurassic World Real Effects uh, Baby Blue. It's a puppet. Uh, bought this at Walmart for $20 on clearance. Sold it for $100. So, decent little profit right there. Another thing we sold was John Wick, uh, chapters 1 through 3, Blu-ray for, I think, $10. I forgot to record the video of it. I already sent it out, but here's a comp for it right here. As I was packing up those last few things, we sold two more items. The Sony Video Remote for 20 or $15, $16. And then underneath we got the Star Wars Trilogy silver case for $7. We only paid a dollar for it. So we made a little bit of profit. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into some uh, Goodwill finds. Let's go. All right, I'm about to head inside. Outlet World, $1.89 best place to source. 79 cents for media. Yeah, um, let's see what we find. All right, we spent $13. We got a couple things. Start off with these hats. Found a Volkswagen hat with a nice little Germany emblem on the back. Um, give it a little wash and be good. That's a drive gear. Next, we got this uh, 1995 Nationals with uh, it's like uh, plead. What is it, Scott? What is that? Plaid. Plaid. Plead. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, I don't know what the, exactly what that is, but it looks cool. Got this Cabela's lunchbox. The Lions King's tote bag. We got this Batman. I forgot to put it in the bag. It's not worth much, but maybe we lot it up together if we find any other ones later. You see right here, batteries are good for cameras. Um, these are Harry Potter postcards. Girlfriend just wanted them, or my wife wanted them, sorry. Uh, Guitar Hero World Hero, or World Tour, just the case though, so hopefully we can find, you know, the disc. I think we have one at the house actually. Last thing, the big thing right here, not the last thing, I'll show it in a second. Find a Subaru, it's, a, it's like a rear hanger or something. So I don't know if somebody might want that or not. 
I see right here is the Congo the movie. I hope it's all in there. All right, we spent 12, 13 dollars on all that. We should be able to make a decent amount of money. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as always. Peace. All right, so sometimes we can source some stuff from Walmart if it's on clearance. I only paid five dollars. They were originally asking 22 for this. Um, so I was thinking, I didn't really look it up. We should be able to get at least ten dollars for it. But if not, I mean, oh well. All right, we stopped at this Goodwill. Went in Sunday, so it's super busy. So, um, thought this was sealed brand new, but it's not. Unless I ripped it when we're on leaving. But it's a inbox. I uh, paid less than ten dollars for that. Yes. And then where's the other thing? I don't know. We found an eye clicker too. Like a two for five bucks, should be able to get thirty dollars for that. All right, what's up, YouTube? You know where we're at? Outlet World, best place to source. Dollar eighty nine a pound. Seventy nine cents for movies. We didn't get any movies today. Uh, I'll show you what we got. We spent ten dollars. Got some pretty dope stuff. Hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like. Peace. All right, so we got for ten dollars to start off this KitchenAid. Uh, it might be a keep. Uh, I haven't really looked up. It's just a storage container, but always grab KitchenAid stuff. It's good. Grab this Yeti. I didn't see that it was marked uh, Solace Pediatric Home Care. So we might just keep this for a coffee cup. Not bad though. Yeti's a good brand. Next, we got this Pelican 1300 case. That will pay five times over what we paid for all this stuff right here. $50 plus, hopefully. Or I might just keep it. Those are not need to see those. Got a Nike visor. Pretty clean. So I'm gonna give it a wash. These next hats are pretty dirty, but it is what it is. I'm gonna give them a good wash. Um, it's a Patagonia. I think it's a vintage Patagonia too, seeing that. My apartment, Chicago Bulls. If I can get that clean, I'm probably gonna keep it. Then we got a DD's Fanny Pick. Last thing we got this Michigan's Wolverine Hawaiian shirt. Looked it up and they're going for like $30 a piece or so. Let's go. So we ended up spending $50 total, just round it up. These are 24, but they're half off. New balances, I'm about to clean them, but should be able to get 50 for those at least. And then right here you can see a PlayStation 1. Uh, no power cords, but we'll, we should be able to find those somewhere. They asked $30 for this, so I don't think it was that bad of a deal. Oh, the power cords right there, what am I talking about? 